What is going on Gulf Coast Nation guys welcome back to another episode this week back on our home turf doing what we do best going after some big hoss sharks in the Pensacola Florida area I'm in the truck right now headed to the beach going around this lovely three mile bridge construction so i've got about another hour left in my drive normally i would be about 25 minutes away but now i'm 57 minutes away very frustrating stuff but we're gonna go get it done we've got a good weather gap we got flat waves it is a weekday and this weekend looks like doo-doo for shark fishing seven foot waves 20 mile an hour winds storms rain so we're gonna be fishing a little pre-front if you will today's flat low winds we got a bunch of wind shifts today so I'm pretty excited. It's not going to get too, too cold tonight, which doesn't make me super happy. I like seeing those 30, 32 degrees nights. We'll take what we can get. Obviously, we got a competition going on with Mr. Yak and with Jack right now. Um, I believe it ends March 31st at the end of March. The first three months of the year is what our competition is, kind of like a wintertime thing. Um, but Jack's going to come meet up, meet up with me tonight, I think. So we'll, uh, we'll clarify that then. But in the truck on the way to the beach I'm gonna get rods set up right around noon or so and then we are we're gonna do it we're gonna get a little daytime soak with a bunch of wind shifts and then tonight looks promising midnight the lip the winds get really really low and then in the morning we got some howling winds so let's go do it Pew! I've been out here, baits out for probably psh, hour and a half or so. I tossed out a surf rod, hoping to get a black drum, a redfish, or pompano, or something to pass the time a little bit. I'll go ahead and reel the uh, breakaway or the float rig in, get a new weight on it, and then send it back out, hopefully to stay. Um, that way we can just go out to it, and change it. But the wind's kind of picked up straight out of the west, and then tonight around sunset, it's supposed to change again out of like the southwest gonna kick back relax and uh just wait for it wait for that one Woo, just got smoked look at that look at that head shakes I think I was gonna change the float rig anyway, so it's always nice to change it with a shark on it. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Close here, real close. So I've got, whew. I see my float and I can see the shark. Cannot tell you what it is yet, I don't know. That's crazy, dude. That is crazy, man. 
I'm gonna walk him over the bar here, so I wanna make sure he gets over the bar. I'm gonna try to keep him, keep him streamlined. Cool little guy, cool little guy. Look at that little guy, man. That's a, that is a new personal smallest sandbar. Holy smokes. Look how small this guy is, bro. It's crazy. <laughs> so sick. <laughs> so sick. Did the trick. The bobo head on the terraform attack of float rig at that base suspended. That is easily the smallest sandbar shark I have ever seen in my life. I mean, that thing was like, like we get black tips that size in the summertime. Like that thing couldn't have been two and a half feet long. That was, it's kind of cool. Like you're gonna catch a sandbar, a little one like that's cool. Or I want like a seven and a half foot sandbar, but sandbars are not always the funnest, but I always appreciate every single shark that we get our hands on. So that was cool. There's a little reward for our efforts, and uh, it was about time to change that float rig out anyways, but the good news was, well, she was sitting pretty anyway, so we're good to go. We're gonna change the float rig out and get a new bait. Jack should be here in just a second, so uh, hopefully he'll bring some luck with some bigger sharks to it. Yo! Sandbar shark there. Oh, what this is, man? I don't know what this is. I don't know what I got. Big old head shakes, though. Big old head shakes. Definitely a drum of some sort. I would say red, but that's wishful thinking. Oh my gosh. Yeah, big old head shakes. Yeah. yeah, he's making quite the, the ordeal out of it for sure. Awesome. Gonna come down to that bar and go get him. Make it over that bar. Got a little ways to go. We're gonna walk out of this bar here. The old sandbar one op circle hooks. Good head shape, man. It might be a little redfish. It might be a little redfish. I'm hopeful. Blast though, what a blast. I got color on him. Here's gonna be the challenge here. Keep him tight. All right, don't want that hook to come out, but. This wave right here, boom, baby. That's a really nice drum right there, man. That's a really nice drum right there, guys. All right, so in Florida, the slot is up to 24 inches. So this guy is over slot, but you get one over slot, a beautiful black drum right there, right here in the surf. Awesome surprise right after that tiny personal worst sandbar. So uh, we're gonna chunk this guy up, get him out for shark bait. Drum this big aren't really that good for eating. Uh, I've heard guys talk about small puppy drum being good. I've never tried it myself, but fresh shark bait. Can't pass up the opportunity to get a fresh bait out there. So we're gonna run it, let's go. Jack's finally here after I caught two fish, then he shows up. 
But uh, now we're about to run Jack's bait real quick. As you can see, the sun's about to set. So enough talking, we gotta get baits back out. Three baits out, but I just want to thank Jack here for giving me McDonald's. What's our competition? Right. What is it? End of March 31st. End of March. Okay, end of March. Right, okay. So let's just let's just go over on my channel because I haven't done a good job of covering it yet. And of course, Jack did because he caught a freaking massive tiger. So started January 1st and it goes to March 31st. The biggest shark lengthwise. And the rules are we have to be together. So I can't go to Cali, catch a giant fish. We don't have to be together. We can catch it on a charter. Yeah, that's right, that's right. We can catch it on a charter, but we can't go out of state without each other. Yeah. We got so a special like, plan going I was going to say, Jack and I have a special trip plan. So if we go to this special place and pop a giant over 11.9, then that's it. But it has to be... <laughs> Jackson get drugs. So. No, we got... So, but right now it's an 11 foot 9 tiger. If you guys have not seen that video, check the top right corner of your screen right now. The thing was a massive tiger on a 50 wide. Huge. Sickest fight ever in the middle of winter. Probably one of the biggest tiger sharks I've ever heard of being caught in the dead of winter in the panhandle. So pretty sick and then the the what is it the so the the take it the winner take all shark is the blue shark that swims around these waters in the in the in the in the winter time mr mako so if any one of us catch a mako regardless of size yes. between january 1st 2021 and march 31st 2021 that's the take all i like that should we spice it up we should spice it up i think yeah. we should do so so if i catch a if i catch a six foot mako that trumps his 11 foot tiger because Mako's king. But, <laughs> but if Jack comes back and smacks a 12 foot Mako shark, then his wins. And then when I smack my 12 three, then I'll win. So yakking with Jack, Gulf Coast Nation, little, little competition, little friendly competition. Make us fish harder, yes. make us fish tough in the winter time. And then uh, of course we get bragging rights. We'll, we'll figure something out after March. We might have to do something like get on your own video. And, it's uh, gonna, it's gonna be a do a chicken video. dance or something. It's gonna be something for the loser that have, they have to do something pretty embarrassing. Yeah, there's, there's, there's gonna be there's gonna be something. We'll figure something out. We're creative guys, so. And we have a YouTube fan of Jack and I's both. She's been watching the channel, so we're just hanging out. It's always cool to meet you guys. So if you guys ever see us on the beach, if you see Jack's truck, you see my trailer, come say hey. I love you guys. I want to talk to you guys. So it's awesome. Jack, 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 float rig, float, 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 float rig, float rig, float rig. Oh, you turned it around. I couldn't, I could not for the life of me tell what was happening. Like, I was like, saw the light jump, and I was like, nah, that didn't happen in real life. Yeah, <laughs> he's looking at it. He's Bro. Looking at it. <laughs> what the world? Yeah, moments it. before <laughs> as as we were taking some pictures right there i'm like about to take a picture and i'm gonna show you guys this picture because i look like a crazy person but i'm like smile i'm about to take a picture and i see like the blue light drop and then it just goes shooting up jack and i turn over run over here and uh looks like we missed it lashes in it you can see a lash here here and here all the way down and then my hook back here three of the rods out so let's keep doing it you yeah all right go on. ready <sighs> Oh my god, that's the one, baby. That's the one. Get on. Yeah! Let's go, baby. She's a big one. That's a dusky, baby. That's a dusky. All day. Oh, keep your hands on that dress. Back it up a little bit. Good shot, guys. Good shark. Oh, come on. Yes. Let's go! Get back on. That's some real drag too. Let's go! Congrats, Jack! Look at that rod. That old blank slate custom. Let's go! Yes, sir. Jack is on a beast, man. Ah! <laughs> Let's go! That's what I live for. 
Oh, baby, that's a beast, brother. Woo! What a... Early in the evening, early in the evening right now, Jack's hooked up on a really, really nice dusky shark. Is what we're thinking it is. It's giving us that, that really dusky. Duskies like to kite in the beach at an angle, and then just like this, they'll kind of make a little bit of a stalemate. And in those stalemates, they'll either stop or they'll take off. Jack's right at his splice right now, almost a mono, but big fish, man. It's a really heavy fish. Jack's been putting in some hours for this dusky shark, man. So it's his time, bro. Go Look at that quick movement, guys. That's what experience takes over right there, baby. Leader! Then let's just get that hook out. Skin, baby. Woo! She's she's green. She's green. Congrats, brother. Thanks, brother. That's a good one, man. Yeah. Oh, man. Nice shark, nice shark. I hooked Dusky Shark, man. I think gave you a run for her money. It's well worth the efforts right there. So, and it's early. And sadly, we're going to keep running base. Let's do it. Alrighty, guys. Up at the truck now. Just got everything loaded up in the trailer. About 1, 1 30 in the morning here. Our last weather gap has passed. So, went ahead and packed up. It's going to be pretty ugly in the morning. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this week's episode. It was pretty epic. Caught a personal worst sandbar shark. Thing was tiny. Smacked a nice black drum from the beach. And then Jack came in to help us out. Catch a big hoss dusky shark. Pretty sick, even though it was foul hooked. Um, I mean, it gave him a good fight. That's what we're out here for is getting a good fight. We're trying to chase Makos this time of year. But... Those dusky sharks do happen to come in and around, and they're always a joy, and it's nice to get a tag in them for Noah while we can with a no-delay release. So, without further ado, if you guys enjoyed this week's episode, go ahead and give us a thumbs up, drop a comment below, share with your friends, and as always, we'll catch you guys next week. You!